Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Call her, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Hadash. That by honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawab, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. And pray that it's edifying by the spirit and just wanted to touch on um you know some lightweight but it's actually you know kind of big as well because these are things that yahweh spoke of that will be happening in the end days um and this is uh the earthquakes that's going on up here in um, yellowstone park and if you're familiar with yellowstone park it's a pretty popular place you know um tourist attraction so to speak and as you can see esau edom they always they can't let just the beauty of the Lord, just be it, you know, just be it, man, you know, they got to build fucking asphalt roads through them, cut down trees to do so, you know, and then, they, then they're the first ones to tell you about um, how hot the, 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 the planet is getting, you see, if you, if you using asphalt, asphalt creates heat, the sun is banging off that shit, you can actually, when you're driving, you can actually see heat waves off of, um, you know, asphalt when, when you're driving in certain places, when it's hot out. You can see it. You can see, like, you can actually, you know, fry shit. You can cook shit on, on, on the road, man. That's how hot this stuff get. So when you got millions and millions of miles of this throughout the earth from the so-called white man trying to create what he calls roads and highways and things of that nature, of course you're going to get some heat up, man, in the planet. These people don't do nothing but destroy stuff because there was no reason for them to actually be what the hell do people need to drive through this place for? You know, it, it, it was a beautiful attraction, but you want to make it into a tourist attraction and, and collect money off of it, cut down all these trees to do so. And then and now you can't even get into the damn park. But that's all the power of your whole body. I was shy. But let's get um, the title here. It says earthquake swarms hits Yellowstone as unprecedented floods close park. So not only do you have earthquakes, you have floods in there. And let's get some. It says, matter of fact, let me see here. Let's see if this will play right here. Okay. Okay, that's going into some tornadoes right here. But we don't need to see that part right there. Um, let's just read some of this. Because there, there are hurricanes, earthquakes tornadoes man all kinds of weather that's going on throughout the earth and these aren't the only earthquakes that's going on man these earthquakes be having on a on a day-to-day -day basis but um it says an earthquake swarm hit a region of flood stricken yellowstone on sunday ahead of the closure of the national park due to unprecedented floods data from the university of utah seismograph station shows that dozens of quakes up to a magnitude about 2.4 hit an area around grizzly lake throughout the day and at various depths michigan technological university earthquakes mag magnitude scale shows the earthquakes of a strength of 2.5 or less are usually not felt and tend to only be recorded by a seismograph but thing of it is it's happening and it's creating the floods it's causing breakoffs you see what i'm saying and and, and, and you never know what kind of damage it's done done underneath <laughs> Where something bigger can happen. You see what I'm saying? But this is all the power and might of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, shut their asses down. Keep them from, you know, riding around out there and, and, and fucking with the animals. Nothing can live with these people, man. It says Yellowstone is one of the most seismic, seismically active regions in the U.S. And swarms like this make up most of the earthquake activity in the park. On average, Yellowstone is hit by between 1500 to 2500 earthquakes every year so see that so earthquakes are going on and the scriptures talks about these earthquakes going on in diverse places so we we've gotten enough of that let's see comments probably these it says yellowstone mountain is a dangerous place for eruption the whole world 90 percent will be in trouble mankind as we know if this is ah uh, yeah yeah but anyway hey let it erupt hell you go Esau out there want to build damn roads and want to travel all around it and 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 you know just fuck with just fuck with stuff, man. These people are, are are let me keep it classy. These people, like for real, they're not fit to 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 rule, man. 
Everything they touch is it it it's just turns to complete destruction. It just crumbles, man. Anyway, let's go to the scriptures though. Yeah. Let me see here. Let's get this blue letter real quick. I should have just pulled up the apocrypha. We can go in there. Go into the apocrypha as well. Let's go to Matthew 24. Because this may seem like a small matter, but these are some of the things that the Shah spoke on. So, hey, we look at all these things as big matters, man. Matthew 24, starting at verse 3. And he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the disciples is asking the Lord, what's up? What's going to be going on just before you come? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach. We say a Mashiach. The, the, you know, they call him Christ or whatever, but... You know, we say a Mashiach, Paleo Hebrew, the anointed one, and shall deceive many. So there are men that are on this planet right now that have cults of people that, you know, having them believe that, you know, they're the Lord back on the earth. That's going on right now. And you can look that up. <laughs> Just Google it. You'll see a bunch of um, old, old weirdo looking ass white guys, so-called white men talking about they the Lord or the Holy Ghost or something. Okay, verse 6, it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You hear about that every day. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. See that? Because it's the diverse places. That the earthquakes are going on all over the place, man. And actually in places that you would never even hear, hear of them going off. But as you can see, you're, we're, hey, you're, you're hearing more famines. You're hearing more food shortages. That's why we tell our people, hey, look, if you can grab you a couple more things to throw in your cabinets, you know, grab you, you know, a couple packs of them bottled waters and things of that nature. If you have the means to grab you a couple of things, hey, you can stock you a few more things up, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Use wisdom, you know, grab stuff while you can, because when shit hit the fans, these, these supermarkets and whatever else is going to be cleared out in days. And possibly within one, and it's gonna be so chaotic, especially if a blackout go down. I remember the last blackout. The last blackout, it was crazy as hell out here. People couldn't get to the supermarkets. The gas stations was crazy as hell trying to get petroleum. It was people that was just ugh. It was just it was nasty out here, man. So, and you're living in a far different time than that last blackout. <laughs> Niggas is a lot more crazy here <laughs> than they used to be. And I'm just being honest about it. Okay, but verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And the reason why we bring this, this type of stuff out is because the Lord said to be circumspect. He said to watch and pray. And that's why we bring out things like this. Let's get, um, because this may be a small thing to, to the average person. But see, to us, man, being into these scriptures, we scour this news all day, every day, man. And when we see stuff like this, and I know a lot of brothers may not touch on it, but you know what I'm saying? Some brothers will. And, and, you know, I like to touch on these things. If it's anything that Yahweh Shai mentioned, I like to touch on them because I, it's very important because these are the things that he spoke of. These are the things that he told us to watch for. So why not warn the flock that this is something that's going on? You see, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha, 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. See? Those might be 2.5 on the rector scale, so to speak, you know, but hey, man, that shit could, anything can go down and you can have <laughs> meteor sized lava or something pouring up or whatever. You just never know, man. We, hey, we're, the Lord is in control of all the elements, man. That's why when you go off into um, this same book right here, Ecclesiasticus um, 39 and 28 down, he, he said that he created spirits for vengeance. And, and, and within those spirits of vengeance, he mentioned fire. In hell, and um, um, matter of fact, let me just go to it. Thirty-nine and twenty-eight. He mentioned a few things in there, and he mentioned famine. Famine was one of them as well. And earthquakes. See, people die in earthquakes. People die in tsunamis. People die in floods. People die. The Lord. It's people dying all over the world with all kinds of weather patterns that people don't even know about. 
So you don't get the full reports. If you knew about everybody that was getting knocked off by the Lord every day, man, you'd be highly, matter of fact, you, you'd be afraid of them for real. You actually reverence the Lord a lot more. But this is um, Ecclesiasticus 39, 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they power off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created these spirits to appease his wrath when he's pissed, man. Here, here go a few of them. Fire and hell and famine. See? Starvation, man. The Lord starves babies. And, and, and when you see these people all over the world, man, that's going hungry right now, that's the Lord. And death. All these were created for vengeance. And I wanted to just bring this out because it shows you the type of elements that he's capable of using. He created everything. The Lord can have a tree fall on you. I was just um, seeing a, um, a, a story. I think I might have done a lesson on it. But it was a just, you know, a, a, a man and his wife that was just out, you know, with another friend of theirs. And they were sitting at a picnic table. Gush of wind came through and, and pushed a tree, a big ass tree over, over on them and killed them. And the other person was sitting there unscathed. So it was just meant for the Lord to knock them off. And the Lord is perfect, man. It, <laughs> the timing is is is. It's incredible, man, the way that the Lord knocked people off. If you've ever seen those movies, Final Destination, check some of those movies out and, and, and you'll get a, somewhat of a glimpse of how the Lord gets down, man. Okay, but it says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth the wild beast. So you've been seeing a lot of dog maulings, a lot of um, animal maulings going on. I seen a video yesterday with um, a, a dude at the zoo, a goddamn orangutan grabbed him. And pulled him up to the gate, up to the bars. He couldn't even, everybody was trying to pull him apart. They could, the damn orangutan was so strong, they couldn't do it. And then eventually, a, a few people came through and they actually got the um, orangutan off of the guy. And then I seen another um, video of some guy at the zoo. He was picking with a lion. Damn lion bit his, his finger off. You see? But a lot of people have been getting mauled by their own pets, their own dogs. Literally. I've never heard of so many um, things like that going on. Uh, maybe it was just stuff that I never really paid attention to, but a lot of people within this past year have been getting mauled up by their own dogs. Dogs that they've had for years and been petting for years, been feeding them for years. Then the Lord just turned that spirit on their ass, man, and just get them. Sick them. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these spirits are, are sitting around at all times of the day, ready to go get busy. And when they get busy, they're rejoicing in it. So th that's why it's so important to repent, man, and really realize who you're dealing with here. You're dealing with Alashaya, man. You know? Yahweh Almighty, God Almighty, man. That, that's, that's great in power, man. That's terrible to the children of men. <laughs> and the Lord is not no joke, man. You see what I'm saying? So you never know what's going to go down next. But what these, these things are saying is you're close. As a matter of fact, also in the Apocrypha, because it talks about it in multiple places. Let's get 2 Nezrus 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So we're supposed to measure the times that we're in. How do we measure it? We measure it by what Yahweh gave, Yahweh Yahushai gave us. He gave us a, somewhat of a blueprint, like a timestamp. Like, okay, when this starts to happen, you know that you're closer. You see? And we're naming off some of them. It says, um, and when thou seest part of the signs past, so when we see these things start to happen, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand. See, we understand right now that it is the very same time where it's the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is visiting this place now, man. And it's gonna, he's gonna really show up. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see that? And uproars of the people in the world, and you, you see that all over the world. They um I was doing um I seen a brother last night, he pulled up an app. I didn't know they had it, but there's an app where you can actually go, you can have this app to see where all the uproars and, and sedition of men are at. Throughout the globe, where, where there's riots at, where people are coming up against their governments, man. These things are happening in real time. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things, 
from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these are indicators that we're in the last days, man, and that there's not much time left, man. That's the reason why we do these lessons, man. We going full hard, full charge to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You are not blacks. You're not, you're not these names that the so-called white man gave you when they kidnapped you and colonized you. And, 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 and this is Bible prophecy that the Lord is waking the children of Israel up in these last days. Now, some of them are going to be awakened to be destroyed. Some of them are going to be awakened to be um, saved. Now, we don't know who, who's who. You know, I pray that I'm a part of the elect. I pray that if you're listening to this video, you're a part of the elect. You see what I'm saying? We pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh will not blow out our candlestick or remove his Holy Spirit from us. But we, we don't know. But, hey, we're working hard towards it, you know. <laughs> Every day that you can get up and, and you can call on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hey, you got a better chance than anybody. Straight up, man. And we praying, like I said again, man, for the mercy from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Like, for real, for real, because it's about to get real, real serious out here. It's already serious, but people haven't seen, like, the... The physical effects of what's about to really happen. Once they start to see damn bodies around them and start to see people acting a goddamn fool and going crazy as hell, even their family members, you already got people with mental, um, mental um, issues and shit already in the home. It's going to be crazy, man. When people can't eat, all this stuff is coming to pass. All this stuff is coming to pass. Now, they was talking about a few weeks back that... um. It was in the news that there was supposedly had been 10 weeks worth of wheat left throughout the entire globe. Now, that, was, that had to have been about five, six weeks ago. So if that's really true, then there can't be no more than about three or four weeks left to actually, you know, where there's enough wheat to whatever, whatever. Now, you're seeing the gas prices going through the roof. You're seeing the food prices going through the roof. It, this shit is just going to get more expensive. See, they, see, they, they kind of, they, they push the gas up about 30, 40, 50 cent on you, and then they'll stop for a hot second for about a week, two weeks, you know, give you a little bit of a break, three weeks maybe, and then what you're going to see is it's going to do it again. Then they're going to give you a little bit of a break, then they're going to do it again. Then next thing you know, it's going to be, <laughs> the, the gas is just going to be out of control. People are going to be out here, you know, doing stick-ups for, for gas. Ciphering your gas out and shit while you sleep, while you pulled up at the daycare, whatever, man. You at uh, you, <laughs> you can be anywhere, man. And somebody done pulled up and drilled a hole into your gas. That's a new thing. They drilling holes into your gas tank now and just draining your gas the hell out. You see, and people gonna be following you about food. They see you somewhere shopping. You got these three, four grocery carts full of damn junk food, and your and your your baby's all chubby. They see your ass is over three hundred pounds. You're going to be a target because they're going to figure out that person got food at his house. Tell you, man, this shit is about to get real out here. But I just wanted to bring this out. This is just one of those small key pieces to the puzzle, the earthquakes. We can't forget about that. We can't be slack when it comes because it's not a big story type of deal because it's not something that'll get a lot of likes or something that, you know, might get you follows or something. We can't just overlook these particular stories like this. We have to do these lessons, man. Because this is a part of the prophecies that Yahweh Shah spoke of. The damn them earthquakes, man. The wars, rumors of wars. We know that's going down. Earthquakes. We got the famines. You know? Because <laughs> like I said again, hey, let these let this gas stick keep going up and see them food shortages really fall on in. Joe Biden got on, on national TV and told you, yeah, there's gonna be food shortages. It's gonna be hard. His ass ain't going hungry though. But you ones that went out and voted for that clown, you're going to be starving, man. And that's why it's so important to repent, because the Lord said his servants shall eat, his servants shall drink, his servants shall um, basically have joy. But if you don't know Yahweh about Shimei Shai, you're going to be thirsty, hungry, and ashamed, man. It says that you're going to be howling with vexation of spirit. You ever heard a nigga howl? I'm telling you, man, it's about to get buck ass wild out here, man. It's going to be a real, this is a real dangerous place already. It's going to get super dangerous, man. That's why, you, and I noticed, I've been noticing that a lot of people, I've been seeing, noticing houses in the neighborhood where people have get, they're, they're getting like those, um, those grocery store shutters over their windows. I've been noticing that a lot lately. 
as I'm passing by. Like, damn, you know, that's kind of weird. But they, you can't even see. They don't you, you don't see windows. They actually have grocery store type shutters. You know how they have the, 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 the metal door type of deal that you pull down and it's locked and you can't see anything from the You ain't seeing nothing. I've been seeing that lately in the neighborhoods in certain places. There's certain people that's got those on their windows. And because, hey, maybe they know something that we don't know. <laughs> maybe they got a heads up as to what's to come. Because everybody is not stupid. Everybody, you know, you got a lot of these older, um, you know, vets. Some of these older, um, you know, Jake, that went to the Army, Navy. You know, they understand geopolitics to some degree. They starting to see what's going on. And, you know, a lot of these, you know, you got some older ones that, are, you know, they kick back and they watch a lot of the news. And they actually have a understanding of what's, what's happening. They just don't know it scripturally. And they, you know, you got these ones that they know a few things. They know a few scriptures. They'll tell you that, yeah, we're living in the last days, but they, they're not going to tell you, okay, well, what's really going on? How do you repent? Who is, the, who is repentance really for? It's for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? It's for you guys. You're the children of Israel. The Lord is, is breaking this place down on your behalf. And it's only going to get worse, but he's going to deal with our people, too, that don't want to repent. And that's two thirds of our people. And that's a lot of people, man. Every hundred people, 66.6 people <laughs> is going to get the business, man. Only 33.3 people are going to make it out of every hundred people, man, as far as our people go. So, you know, hey, them the numbers, man. So we pray to Yehovah by Shimei Awashai that we can make it. That's why we continue on doing the work. I say continue on praying, continue on fasting, and stay steadfast, and don't let nobody throw you off, man. Don't let nobody throw you for a loop, for real. Any motherfucker want to want to get the hell on, I'm tired of it, get the hell on in, <laughs> because what you don't need around you is somebody that's going to take your focus off of this, this word, man. Take your focus off your, how about Shimei I was shy? You know, you one of your family members, your fucking spouse, your boyfriend, your children, Somebody, nah, man. Look, we full steam ahead when we when it comes down to this truth. We'll see you on the other side if that's the case. You can bounce. I love you, but you can bounce, man. We, you know, because that you know the scriptures talks about if um you love your mother, father, or your kids, or whatever, roughly paraphrasing, more than the Lord, you're not worthy to be His disciple. So fuck everybody, man. When it comes down to that, we're we're full steam ahead. We're believing on this on, on what time period we're in. We're believing on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're having complete faith in him. And that's that, man. Anybody that don't want to get down, they're going to lay down anyway. So fuck that, man. <laughs> For real. Maybe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will have mercy on our families, you know, on the tail end because of what we do what, what we're doing. But hey, if that's not the case, good <laughs> good riddance, nigga. For real. For real. Nobody's worth you losing your crown, man. Fight for your crown to the very end. So, um, like I said again, you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true biblical um, Paleo-Hebrew names of the Father and Son. The Father name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. True name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And again, this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Hondurans, uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, you know, just you, you, the people that are oppressed underneath the, the so-called white man, so to speak. The Cubans, your Mexicans, your Latinos, your, your Dominicans, all those different names that the so-called white man gave you. You are the children of Israel from one of those 12 sons of Jacob, from the 12 tribes of Israel, man. So with that, a hey, repent because we're definitely in the last days. It won't be long, my baby. So with that, Kwame Yashallah.